Today, we will hear statements from the honorable members for the districts of Torngat Mountains, St. George's Umber, Bonavista, Mount Pearl North, Topsail Paradise. The honorable, the member for Torngat Mountains. Thank you, Speaker. Today, I pay tribute to social worker Rita Ann Boise, winner of the 2023 Pride in Profession Award, a registered social worker since 19, sorry, a registered social worker since 2013, Rita Ann worked in important roles, social development and community social services, uh, children protection, including frontline and supervisory role, and is a leader of the family support and prevention programming for Labrador Inuit. Throughout, Rita Ann has exemplified, exemplified outstanding ability to think creatively and outside the box in pursuit of social justice to challenge the status quo, resulting in improved outcomes for some of the most vulnerable in society. She has a natural ability to navigate, navigate varying systems, policies, procedures, and legislation, all for the betterment of those she advocates for. And her dedication to her role and her community as an Indigenous social worker within Indigenous context is immense. Rita Ann demonstrates exceptional capability to practice social work as a respected member of the community, which is a unique skill to attain given the sometimes difficult responsibilities and reputation of the profession in many of our Indigenous communities. Rita Ann upholds the values of the profession in a manner that is congruent with her culture, which convey a remarkable skill of assessment and attunement of the needs of our community. So please join me in congratulating Rita Ann Boise. The Honorable the Member of St. George's Umber. Speaker, uh, today I rise to pay tribute to Terry Downey of Stephenville Crossing, who passed away on March the 9th. Uh, Terry lived his whole life in the town he loved, Stephenville Crossing. He served the town selflessly for many years in various capacities. Over the years, he, he was a councillor, deputy mayor, and eventually mayor. He is also known for his extensive volunteer work in his community and uh, at the provincial level. He was an indigenous elder and knowledge holder. Terry was interested in a diverse range of activities, especially local plants and animal life. He enjoyed nature and was involved in many conservation activities, such as the protection of wetlands with the Stewardship Association of Municipalities and the protection of the piping clover, a small bird that nests in the Stephen Crossing area. In 2007, he was the recipient of the Lieutenant Governor's uh, Green Wing Conservation Award. Terry Downey was also a dedicated husband, father, grandfather, and a great friend to many. Uh, speaker, I ask all members of the House to join with me in recognizing the contributions of Terry Downey to this province and to sending condolences to his family and many friends. The Honourable, the member for Bonavista. Here, here. Thank you, Speaker. The Thorburn Lake hangar outside Clarenville expected a helicopter to refuel on July the 20th, 2020. At approximately 3.30 p.m., the helicopter attempted to land on two occasions and thereafter rose to roughly 100 feet and lost control, crashing to the ground. Within two minutes, Steve Plowman and his father, Gene, working at their airplane hangar, airplane hangar, sorry, immediately ran to the site, utilizing their cell phones to call the RCMP and request ambulance service. With smoke coming from the helicopter and alarm sounding, they began removing the two front occupants from the mangled machines, who were in total shock with many cuts and bruises. They were unable to recover the rear passenger, unfortunately. Steve, an aircraft maintenance engineer, identified and switched off the master switch, removing all live battery power 
while Gene ran back to the hangar for a power saw and fire extinguisher and returned with Jeff Bray, a firefighter who, along with Charles Harris, was instrumental in extinguishing the fire. The crew then cleared a path for first responders. I asked the members of the 50th House of Assembly to join me in celebrating the heroic actions of Steve Plowman Harcourt, his father, Gene Clarenville, Jeff Bray Milton, and Charles Harris. The Honourable the Member Mount Pearl North. Thank you, Speaker. For 46 years, Calvin Smith has been adding colour to people's lives. Since January 10, 1977, Calvin had been a valued member of the, Mount, of the Mount Pearl Paint Shop team and is still going strong. A certified interior decorator, Calvin helped thousands of people with decorating and design. His lifelong commitment to people extended beyond his workplace. Calvin spent much of his free time with family and community volunteering. You, can see, you could see Calvin organizing Remembrance Day, ceremonies with the Royal Canadian Legion, serving, serving on the Christmas kill with the Salvation Army, leading scout troops, and playing with the Mount Pearl Men's Slow Pitch League. He also lent his knowledge to the art museum projects undertaken by local schools. To quote his co-workers, his knowledge is unmatchable and his passion for the community is inspiring. He's invaluable to us. Calvin plans to work until his 50th anniversary at least. Speaker, Calvin Smith has truly brought color into our homes and into our community. Thank you. Thank you. The Honorable the Member Topsail Paradise. Thank you, Speaker. The 2023 Canada Winter Games were held from February 18th to March 5th in Prince Edward Island, where 3,600 top young athletes, managers, and coaches gathered to compete in 20 sports and made new friends and memories to last a lifetime. Speaker, today I am honored to congratulate Maddox Glover from the District of Topsail Paradise, who earned a gold medal in the Men's Special Olympics Level 2 figure skating. Thirteen-year-old Maddox attends Villanova Junior High in CBS and has been skating since he was the age of four and is a member of the Prince of Wales Skating Club. With his hard work and determination, Maddox reached the goal every athlete strives to achieve. Maddox said his experience at the Canada Winter Games was amazing, and he is overwhelmed from all the well wishes and recognition that he has received from the province, school, family, and friends. While there, he had the honor of being the flag bearer for the closing ceremonies at the Canada Winter Games. Another proud moment for Maddox. <laughs> Speaker, we all feel a collective pride, and I invite all members to join me in congratulating Maddox on his great achievement. Sure,